This isn't a fight. This is a close-in war. Sander keeps running, but you see that Frazier comes right on through with punches. That's right. And Frazier's uh, doing a couple smart things. He's shifting his stack from the head to the body, He's mixing his stack up very well, whereas Sander's primarily punching to the head. 25 seconds left in the wrestling match in the corner for the moment. Zach Clayton brings him apart. 20 seconds left. We're in round two. Neither man down thus far. Sander missing with the right hand. Landing to the body with the left. 10 seconds left in the second round. Nebraska's first heavyweight championship fight in the state's 105-year history. The Cornhuskers were number one. They hope Stander will be number one. He goes right after Frazier, but he's missing punches. Joe's setting him up in close with lefts and rights, a wicked left, and that's the first time Stander has li literally been hurt. George, he's slow to a walk with that left. Uh, that that took really stumped him. He's in big trouble right now. He's, he's in, very badly. He's in deep trouble as Frazier works on the body. Standard desperately trying to catch Joe, and now the nose has been cut, and there's a severe cut on the bridge of the nose of Standard, and the claret begins to flow. Many of the experts wrong already were in round three. A lot of them didn't think it would go past number one, but the champion of the world, unbeaten, 24 knockouts. Frazier coming on. Left to the ear, left to the nose, and there's blood spattered all over Standard's face now. Frazier can't miss with that short left in close and the jolting right hand. And George, he has a good right, too. You hear about the left, but he's got a straight right that packs power. That's right, he is. What well, Frazier's doing is also setting his man up very nicely with the jab. He's using the jab a lot more tonight than I've ever seen before. Stander literally fighting to stay on his feet now as Frazier hit him with a left and a right. The blood pouring from his nose and his eye. And the champion of the world has him set up now. Sander, you've got to give him credit for his courage, his stick to itiveness, and he's hanging in there. There he is throwing a wild right hand, but it's Frazier landing the dynamite now. That left uppercut straightens Sander's face up again. He has won 23 of 25 fights, but never has he been in there with anybody who can hit like Frazier and who keeps hitting you. And there's Stander fighting back. One minute to go, round three. Frazier with a vicious uppercut right over our TBS microphone. On this great night of sports, four hours of prime time bringing you Super Night on television. And Frazier now has Stander in bad shape. And yet Stander lashes back with the right hand. Every time, George, it looks like Stander has about had it. He lashes back with that right again. Right. He's a tough boy. He's very determined. He knows what he has to stake here tonight, and he's not going to quit. He's going to keep fighting. He is guts personified, and he's showing it in there tonight. 25 seconds left, round three. And it's Stander with a left to the head, a right to the body, and a right to the chin. But it's Frazier's left and right doing the damage. Frazier is in there with a the wild man. They call him the Bluffs Butcher. And you can see why. And there's a left. And Stander staggered. The closest to a knockdown we've had. Time running out. Five seconds left in the round. Starting, the doctor inspected the cut and says it was not serious. And look at Stander last back at Joe Frazier. He's fighting to hang on now, and it's a left and a right uppercut by Frazier in the corner. Stander with the crowd behind him, but Frazier doing the dynamite, George. That's right. Uh, it looks like Stander's going for broke right now. I know he's in big trouble. He's got to go for broke in the sound before. You can't sell Ron Stander short. With all the odds against him and the fight going against him, look at him fight back. Unlike Terry Daniels, this fella has not been down. We're in round four. And Frazier is getting hit. That's right, he's throwing more than one punch now. Standard before was throwing one punch at time and missing, whereas now he's throwing clusters of three and four. He was very close to going down at the end of the third round, but he's coming back now and giving Frazier all the fight Joe wants. The king from Philadelphia, who was in a slaughterhouse before he became a fighter, might very well be in one here with this kid from Council Bluffs, Iowa. 
the right eye of Stander almost closed from that left. And a cut over the eyebrow, but look at this kid battle. A tremendous battle for the heavyweight title with all the odds favoring the champion. And look at Stander hanging in and landing punches. Frazier seems to be biding his time, George. That's right. I think he's trying to get the other boy to punch himself out a little bit. Look, every time Joe comes in with that left uppercut or that left hook, Stander shudders. And he's getting hit now. There he landed a right on Joe Frazier and answers with a left. Head to head, eyeball to eyeball. That's the kind of a fight it is. The hands drop for a moment, as you see. But Frazier with that... I'm sorry, I'm having a problem with his vision, but I think the third is getting into his eyes. The cut is over the right eyebrow. One minute left. We're in round number four. Neither man has been down. But it's a sheet of claret down the nose of Stander, and there's those lefts, a series. He turns his back. Frazier looking for the opening now. Stander hanging on for the moment, gets hit with a right, but keeps punching. Frazier with an uppercut. Frazier landing in close. Viciously, you see Stander holding, and that's the first time tonight. That's right. He's having a little problem with his vision also. Uh, unless he's had problems uh, getting his punches up, he can't even really see where he's going. Looks like the wild bull of the Pampas there, because I don't think he sees Joe too well. And the claret continues to flow. A sheet of blood on his face. And there's the left by Frazier in the uppercut. But Stander keeps throwing. 14 seconds left, round four, and Stander has not been down. Frazier cutting him up methodically in close, just cutting him to ribbons now. Joe Frazier, still heavyweight champion of the world. The doctor stops the fight at the end of round number four. We're now in the ring and we'll talk to the fighters, George, and to referee Zach Clayton. It is a knockout at the end of the fourth round. It has not been officially announced yet. But the doctor looked at his eyes and called the fight off because of the cuts. George, we could see that his face was badly, badly cut. That'd be better than all the blood flow in the best. He didn't know where he was. He was hurt for days. They really did much to stop the fight. Well, we saw the referee ask Zach Clayton. Uh, Zach Clayton asked the doctor to please go over and do something about his eyes. He took one look, signaled, and this fight has not been officially announced. The announcement has not been made yet. And as soon as it is, George and I will talk to Joe Frazier and to Ron Stander. Four rounds, and they were Ladies better and in gentlemen, Here's the announcement. Dr. Jack Lewis has not allowed Ron Stander to come out for the fifth round. The winner by a technical knockout after the fourth round, and still heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Frazier.